Yeah, and I'm going to try some other recordings. Kyla, we're going to get started with the AP. Yes. Okay, here it is. Do you need to do something about the recording or introduce that? This is correct. I'm going to do it. Okay, good evening, everybody. Hang on. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the uh, joint meeting of the HLPC and the HAC. Uh, it is Thursday evening. It is August 4th. Um, we are convening the Heritage Area Commission meeting first at 6.41 p.m. Um, just a couple of points uh, for individuals who are present. Um, if you do have cell phones, we ask that you please put them on silent. Um, if you have any conversations that you want to have in the room, just take them outside. There are conference rooms on either side. Uh, if you need to use the bathrooms, they're to the uh, right over here. Men's is to the front of the building, women's to the back. Um, if we do have an emergency and need to exit the building, please use the stairs and avoid using the elevators. Uh, with that, I'd like to... We'll, open the meeting at 6.42 p.m. and we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance if everybody would stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Also, so everybody knows we are recording this and we are live streaming it on the city's YouTube channel. So with that, I'm gonna turn the meeting over to Hayes Clement uh, for opening up the heritage. He is the chair. Thank you. Thank you, Sue. I'm Hayes Clement. I'm the chairman of the Heritage Area Commission and a member of the Historic Landmarks Preservation Commission. Unfortunately, as of right now, we, are, we meet simultaneously each month. Uh, right now, we have a quorum of members for the Heritage Area Commission, but not a quorum yet for the HLPC. So depending on your application, which one is being reviewed by which commission, we'll, we'll talk about that a little later. But right now, there are three applications that are just solely being reviewed by the HAC. That's 44 Lindsley Avenue, 113 Main Street, and 474 Broadway. So we're gonna consider those first. Uh, again, my name is Hayes Clement. I'm the chairman of the Heritage Area Commission. I would ask the other commissioners uh, to introduce themselves. First is uh, Kevin McAvoy, who's joining us uh, remotely by Zoom. Kevin, you're here. Yeah, I, I'm present, yes, here. I'll note your... Yeah. 
Evan's waving, so we will note his uh, presence at the meeting. Bonnie. Bonnie Howland here. Janet Marr. Thank you all for being here. Uh, first order of business for the Heritage Area Commission is the adoption of the minutes from our June 2nd and July 7th, 2022 meetings. Has everyone had a chance to review those? Any suggested amendments or issues? Okay. Do I hear a motion to approve the minutes of June 2nd, 2022? Bonnie Howland, so moved. I hear a second. Janet Moore, second. Thank you. Any debate on that? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please raise your hand and say aye. 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 And I will aye. Note that Evan is yes. also voting in the affirmative to approve the minutes of June 2nd. Do I hear a motion to approve the minutes of the July 7th, 2022 Heritage Area Commission meeting? So moved. Do I hear a second? Thank you, Nettie. Do I hear any debate on that? Uh, one question. And then I I'll call for the vote. Can you hear me? Uh, all in favor, please raise your hand and say aye. Kevin? Uh, I don't think I was at that meeting. Um, yeah, he's finding aye. Pursuant to Robert rules, I think I can vote for it so we have a quorum. Yes. Yeah, yes. That, that's my understanding. Okay, then I'm an aye. Yes. I'm okay, thank you, Kevin. All right, then. First order of business for the Heritage Area Commission, or second order of business, is 44 Lindsley Avenue, a, an application to install a new asphalt shingle roof. Uh, Michael McDonald, applicant and owner. Michael, are you here? If you could join us up front. Michael, if you could introduce yourself and just give us an overview of what you want to do. Michael, can you just push the button and thank you? Yep. Um, hi, I'm Mike McDonald. Um, just bought a house on 44 Lindsley Avenue. Uh, did not know we were in the heritage area. So um, we started looking into getting a new roof um, because it's very old and seems like something that <laughs> needs to be done. Um, so it's currently a metal roof that we estimate is like 70 years old, um, but then the back half has been shingled over. Uh, so it's mixed material roof, I guess. Um, so our plan uh, was to just do regular old asphalt shingles. Um, and we're also getting the uh, box gutters restored as part of that. So the color is the, the color of the shingles is the same? Uh, it is the terracotta, the last one there. It's slightly different. Does the planning department have any opinion on this? No problem. Any questions of the applicant? Any issues? Do I hear a motion to declare this a type two action under the State Environmental Quality Review Act? Bonnie Hallen, so moved. Do I hear a second? Jamie Murano, second. That motion's on the floor, any debate? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please raise your hand and say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? And I will note Kevin has given his assent too. Second, do I hear a motion to approve the installation of an asphalt shingle roof at 44 Lindsley Avenue as proposed? Bonnie Howell so moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Thank you. Any debate? All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. Aye. And I will Kevin's note that Kevin is raising his hand. Anyone opposed? Thank you, Mike. Thank you. That the, easy. The building department will have the decision, the paperwork tomorrow. Perfect. <laughs> Next item of business, 113 Main Street, an application to install roof-mounted solar panels. Justin Schaefe, applicant and owner. Thank you. If you could just introduce yourself. Great. 
My name is Rick Irizarry. I'm the sales manager for New York State Solar Farm. We are the solar installer. Uh, Rick, you want to just sort of give us a little overview of what we're talking about doing? Yes, uh, there, Mr. Schaaf and uh, Ms. Alter are, were surprised that they were in the, the heritage uh, area. They have made extensive uh, interior, um, I guess, upgrades to the house and are looking to put solar on so they can afford to stay in the house. Um, there'll be 12 panels on the uh, front roof. Any questions of the applicant? <laughs> Sue, what's the planning department's opinion on this? We, we don't have an issue with this. <laughs> they are on the front, they're visible? They are visible from the street. That's the, the reason they need to come. Okay. Anyone have any questions of the applicant? <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> Wonder if you'd recognize the inside. They said that they've I done pretty extensive pretty, stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They'll have a quorum without Nettie, so. Yes. Any further questions of the applicant? Kevin? No. <clears throat> do, I hear, do I hear a motion to declare this a type two action under seeker? Mar, so moved. We're here, second. Bonnie Howland, second. Any debate on that? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please raise your hand and say aye. 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 Kevin's Kevin up. is assenting. No one opposed. Uh, second, do I hear a motion to approve the installation of roof mounted solar panels at 113 Main Street as proposed? Do I hear a second? Second, Nettie. Thank you, Nettie. That duly made motions on the floor. Any debate? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Including Kevin McAvoy. No one opposed. Yep. Thank you. It also on the agenda for the other board, or is that all? This one is purely just, this one. Just HAC. So you're, good so you're good to go. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rick. Next item on the Heritage Area Commission agenda is 474 Broadway, proposal to paint the exterior and install <laughs> signage and banners at 474 Broadway. Brian Wallace, applicant, LA Kingston Incorporated owner. Anyone here representing the applicant? Is this something that's no. pretty um, straightforward? I think so, yes. This is the... This is the Woodstock Center for Photography. Um, has um, They take up space at this property on the first floor. They're renting it. So there's an overhanging sign uh, that they want to put um, on the sidewalk, over the sidewalk area. We just need confirmation from them about the clearance underneath so that it meets code and the actual size. We don't have those two confirmations. We tried to get them. Um, the other uh, issues with this is they are painting the lower portion, storefront portion of the building. Um, as you can see in your staff notes, um, there's the black, it's a black coloring. Uh, they also have two banners on either side of the building that they wish to hang. Um, uh, the banners are going to require variances from the Zoning Board of Appeals. Um, we've made them aware of that and told them to make those applications as well. Um, I personally don't, I have a, I like the banners. I think they're appropriate um, for the type of business that's going to be operating there. I don't think the size is an issue given the location and the way the building is uh, constructed with the window openings, they fit, it fits nicely. Um, they'll be interchangeable um, as you know, uh, exhibits are changed out. Um, the last thing that they are going to do there is put a sandwich board sign on the sidewalk, which there is legislation that governs the size and anchoring of all that, which they'll have to comply with. And 
um, insurance will be uh, required for the city to be named additionally insured. Anyone had a chance, has everyone had a chance to review the application? Anyone feel uncomfortable making a decision absent the presence of the applicants? Do I hear a motion to declare this uh, type two action under seeker? Morano, so move. Do I hear a second? Bonnie Howland, second. Thank you, Bonnie. That motion's on the floor. Any debate? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. Yes. Kevin is a yes too. There are no opposing votes. How would you like to, should we just go ahead and endorse this and then it goes to the planning board? Okay. Do I hear a motion to approve the plans for exterior painting and installation of banners and signage at 474 as proposed by Brian Wallace applicant? Thank you, Janet. Do I hear a second? Nettie Murano, second. Thank you, Nettie. Can you add into that motion that the insurance be provided, naming the city as additionally insured, and that the yes. uh, appropriate variances are, and clearances are received um, Everybody okay for the with size the... and grade and distance to grade? I will amend. I will amend. Can we amend the motion, Janet, to include that language? Are you okay with that? So amended. Okay. And second. Thank you. Any debate on this? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please raise your hand and say aye. 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 Kevin is an aye. Thank you. So those are the three pure HAC applications we have. Okay, we did get a um, email from uh, Chairman Grumblatt who is out of the country. He will not be here this evening. So uh, we do not have a quorum for HLPC. Um, so those items that were scheduled to be heard will have to be rescheduled for a, another meeting. Um, we can try and schedule a special meeting to um, take care of those items before the, the regular September meeting uh, so that we don't hold up the applicants and we'll work on that immediately. But that is the best we can do tonight, unfortunately. So, I'm sorry. So Kevin and Nettie, are you available for a special meeting? Uh, okay. Do we have some dates? Kevin? Uh, date, oh, dates, on. calendar, Kevin. dates. Do you have um, any dates, Kevin? Uh, well, yeah, I think I, I have the CAC meeting uh, Tuesday. I think I have a land trust meeting that pops up uh, several times a month. Uh, that's why I was asking you guys for the dates and then I can try to figure out. I didn't, yeah, I didn't come prepared tonight. Yeah, uh, let to... me open up my calendar and I'll, I'll give you the I'll, Kevin, what I can do is reach out to you tomorrow and try okay. and coordinate with you with your schedule and um, I'll put something out to everybody. Um, Hayes, I don't know what your calendar looks like. I'll have but to can... look at it. Okay. But yeah. Oh, you're, you're aiming for something in the next two weeks? Yeah. Because yeah. we week. have to give notice of the meeting, right? And so Next week I'm away, but the week after that I'm around. You're, okay, so and next week not is our next vacation, week, the following vacation week. Okay. week. But we're, I'm around the whole rest okay. of the week. I should be around. Okay. Okay, so next week is definitely not good. Okay. Okay. So we apologize. Uh, Sue, do you want to explain what happens if we miss another meeting, consideration of somebody's If we miss another meeting, then the length of time um, for us to make a decision based on complete applications being filed will have been exceeded and your projects will automatically then proceed to a, um, a building permit authority. Right. If it gets missed two months in a row, then you're automatically approved, essentially. We apologize. Anything else for the Heritage Area Commission? Can we? Yeah, we can see it as a discussion point, I guess. Uh, Wednesday the seventeenth, I have a meeting. Well, we well we could 
Well, HAC is just advisory on that, but I guess we could give an advisory opinion on, could we give an advisory opinion on Paul's application? Yeah. 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 That would be good. Right. Yeah. No, I, I was much. I'm out next week as well, and the next two weeks of August are brutal. Um, I figured I would. I can leave this with you. Um, there are really only two. Well, show it to us, and I think I think I'm comfortable giving you the HAC yeah, sure. advisory opinion so, on it. I don't know if you can pull it up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I. So I. So I will say that, um, Hayes, your recommendation for moving the banner down on the building into that sign band um, works just fine. And I okay. believe it's an improvement in terms of visibility. So it's, it is still visible beyond the um, La Canard projecting awning. That's so. 270 Fair Street. 70 Fair. We're, we're talking about four different properties here. It's the first right. four Four birds items. with one stone, right. I think. Um, these are the two available um, reds in the umbrella category the one that we had selected was logo red but i did speak with the client he's willing to go with the the slightly darker red which is less vibrant and um you know after about a year outside everything gets a little less vibrant mm -hmm. if you know what i mean i can leave this with you and um or i can come back i just figured well, HAC, I think I'm, I'm comfortable giving the HAC advisory opinion on this, but that's all it's going to be, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you do still have to schedule a meeting then. Okay, that's fine. You want us to take the advisory opinion? It doesn't matter to me. I mean, you well, can do that. Like He's gonna, anyway. You will have to come back for H we'll HLPC. Right. <laughs> It is. Imp I, I appreciate the improvement. I'm here so. representing a couple of Tyson's clients. and be bitterly disappointed that uh, we're going to have to do that. But um, they're pretty straightforward. It, it's not a. It's not a big deal. I don't know when they come back. Oh, huh. that's a good that idea. That's going to be my question. So that's a very good idea. Okay, we can do. We can yeah. do that. Kind of what I was. Let's do that. Okay. So yes. <laughs> All right, we will run through the HAC advisory roles. So we're, the HAC does advisory opinions on a lot of these. So we're gonna get that part done for everybody. And then that way, not all of us will have to come back for the special meeting. So Paul, if you could just walk us through the changes you made. We talking about the still Hotel Kinsley or the yeah, other two? The Kinsley, okay. Yeah, the Kinsley. Okay, so the only requested revisions on this, um, were at the 270 Fair Street location to bring um, the uh, projecting banner down into the sign band rather than having it above um, above the sign band. Um, the request was uh, with respect to the other hanging signs on the street to kind of more come more into that visual plane, and I think it worked very well. I don't know that you have a Print out. Are you, did it's you guys in the, the staff notes that they have okay. the original right. position. Yeah, the no, I mean, they... I, I know what they look like. I just don't have a, an updated copy, but I know that was the only change. And then there was some concern over the brightness of the banner. Um, so there is a there's a need for us to also file for variances for two of those locations, and Correct. so we need this approval and the HAC to further that application to a variance? No, you no? can you can move that application forward without the HLPC. Okay, I'll, I'll get I, on that. Absolutely, you should do that. I'll get on that. Um, but that, I, I think that was the only change across all four yeah. properties. Mm -hmm. they're, they're pretty uniform, um, same banner uh, in all locations with some variation. So, but I think you guys have, a, procedurally you have to go through and do every right. single SPL. <laughs> So in the matter of uh, 270 Fair Street, 301 Wall Street, 41 Pearl Street, and 24 John Street, do I hear a motion to declare these all type two actions under the State Environmental Quality Review Act? Bonnie Howland, so moved. Do I hear a second? Yeah, second. Thank you. Any debate on that? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. 
Aye. Aye. Kevin is also in dissenting. No, no opposition. Um, do we need to include additionally insured language? And additionally all insured and the variances as required and recommend the approval as modified with mm -hmm. the positioning and the color. And we still need sign permits for all four locations. Well, I'm just, mm -hmm. I'm this just, is all four. All four. Well, I'm just going to put a motion out to, to say that we endorse a positive preservation note of a notice of action mm -hmm. with, as, a, as a contingent on proper variances. Okay. okay. Any further questions for the applicant? I yes. think the red is a little. I was just going to say, are we going with the darker red and not the red as was in? Correct. Here? Yeah. Oh, um, okay. We're changing from logo red, Sunbrella logo red, to jockey red. Okay. It's the darker of the two options. Do you have the number on that? The actual, like. Watch number? Yeah. Yeah. We had the logo very well made. It's four six six. That's the logo red. Oh. He's changing to the jockey red. Uh, so <laughs> logo red is four six six six. Jockey red is four six zero three. Sure. Do I hear a motion to support? Or I do here in motion to endorse a positive preservation notice of action for the banner installations at 270 Fair, 301 Wall, 41 Pearl, and 24 John Streets, uh, contingent on proper variances being received, the city being named as additionally insured, and the Banner color being changed to jockey red, umbrella color. Four six zero three. Four six zero three dash zero 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 zero. Thank you, Nettie. Do I hear a second? Janet Moore, second. Thank you. Any debate on that? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. 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 There's an I also. So you've got us. So we'll have the special meeting around two weeks okay. from now. Thanks, Paul. Sorry okay. about that. Um, you want to run through the rest yeah. of them? West uh, 27 West Chestnut Street. Is anybody here for that? You want me to stay for 59 and 61 Oak? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're just going to go in the order of the agenda. So okay, we'll call you back up. The 27 West Chestnut Street is a proposal to restore a front porch. Uh, David Smilo, applicant and owner. Thank you, David. Hi, I'm David Smilo, applicant and owner, 27 West Chestnut Street. Thank you for the very thorough application and the renderings. It was very helpful. So everyone had a chance to review that. Do you want to just give a quick overview of what you're planning to do? Sure. Uh, the the front porch, as in its current state, is was probably put on the house in the 20s. Uh, it doesn't necessarily fit the character of an Italianate style house. The house was originally built in the early 1870s. Uh, what we'd like to do, and since the porch is more or less falling down anyway, is to restore it to its original uh, style and condition, uh, keeping the color for now at least uh, in the, uh, the same thematic uh, style of the house and in the character of an Italianate house of that period. Uh, we'll go with these, um, uh, we'll, we'll have the chamfered columns that are in the style of the 1870s, the Italianate style. We'll have this, uh, uh, in, you know, there's, there's no bracketing between the current columns now. They're very plain, it's like in a, in a 20s style. So this will be in this uh, Italianate style. Um, where there's an arch and uh, a pendant in the center in between the columns. We'll keep the original balustrade uh, as is, and we're going to re, probably the balustrade was the original from the 1870s and then retrofitted onto the 1920s. This is just based on the amount of paint on those uh, balustrade. And we'll uh, bring the railing up to code 
Uh, we're looking at some solutions to keep to get to that 36 inch code height. Um, we may we may put an additional detailing in on the bottom. <clears throat> um, there is also uh, a, a pier. One of the brick piers has uh, has slipped its its foundation, so it's no longer supporting the porch. We'll fix that. We'll use the original brick uh, with lime mortar to make sure that the you know it's all all right and and reset the uh, the footing. You can see in the uh, the photo behind uh, the woman is the the house from the eighteen probably the eighteen eighties. And that's that's what uh, the inspiration for the design was. Fascinating that picture. So that whole left wing was built later. Yeah, and in fact, the uh, this the the house as it stands now is three buildings, uh, probably all put on in the eighteen nineties. Yeah. Based on the fire maps from the era. I applaud you for doing this. Thanks. It looks terrific. Yeah. Any questions from the commissioners for the applicant? Do I hear a motion to declare this a type two action under the State Environmental Quality Review Act? Murano, so move. Do I hear a second? Second. That motion's on the floor. Any debate? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. Please raise your hand and say aye if you assent. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yep. In favor yep. also? No one is opposed. Do I hear a motion to endorse a positive preservation notice of action for the porch from porch restoration at 27 West Chestnut Street as proposed? Ronnie Howland, so moved. Do I hear a second? Second. That motion is on the floor. Any further debate? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. 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 And I also, there are no opposing votes. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks. And Sue will let you know when the special HLPC meeting is. Okay. Next item of business is 59 Broadway, the installu installation of a double sided hanging sign. Our timely signs is the applicant, Nicholas Coppola, owner. Welcome back. Hi, my name is Paul Biker from, from Timely Signs, and I'm representing the owner tonight. So this is pretty much a, a, a fairly straightforward hanging sign that hangs under the upper canopy of this property um, on 59 Broadway. There's a little overhang, a deck. I'm not sure if they use the deck anymore. My brother used to live down here in the early 2000s. It's a nice, nice apartment up there. Um, I guess they're opening a, a hair salon there. Uh, it looks like it's suspended on an existing bracket that's currently in place. Double sided. Nice. Not illuminated? No. Any other questions or comments from the commission? No issues from the planning department? No, nope. just, the, just the insurance. Yep. It meets the code uh, size and uh, clearance. So. Do I hear a motion to declare this a type two action under seeker? Eddie Murano, so move. Do I hear a second? Okay. Thank you. That motion's on the floor, any debate? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. 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 No one opposed. Do I hear a motion to declare, or do I hear a motion to endorse a positive preservation notice of action for the proposed signage at 59 Broadway, uh, contingent on the city of Kingston being named as additionally insured? Bonnie Hallen, so moved. That duly made motions on the floor. Any further debate? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. 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 No, one, no one opposed. Uh, 
So this was on here twice. Was that because it was? It's it's um, the same building, but two separate storefronts. Oh. So the next item is 59 parentheses, parentheses 61 Broadway installation of a double-sided hanging sign. Timely signs again, and Nicholas Coppola is owner again. We find it easier to do signs two at a time at the same property. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't even my project. This is all Tyson. Um, he's, uh, his wife is expecting their second, so uh, Yay. He's, uh, he's staying close to home, as he should. So um, this is essentially another hanging sign, slightly different format, um, also suspended from the upper canopy. Um, pretty much the same materials, look, feel. Oh, so it's a separate store. Got it. Yeah, it's a separate entry, yeah. and um, it's just all on the same parcel. So it's the same SBL, just two different entrances, two different um, leasable spaces. So same thing, not illuminated. Yep, not illuminated. Um, this one also has some um, lettering on the entry, on the glass insert of the entry door. So that's um, shown in detail there. Pretty minimal. Any comments or questions from the commissioners? Do I hear a motion to declare this a type two action under seeker? Do I hear a second? Any Murano second. That may motions on the floor. Any debate? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. 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 There's an aye also. No opposing votes. Do I hear a motion? Uh, to endorse a positive preservation notice of action for the proposed signage for the Modvin store at 5961 Broadway as, a pro, as proposed, contingent on the city of Kingston being named as additionally insured. Janet Marr, so moved. Do I hear a second? Bonnie Howe, a second. Thank you. That motion is on the floor. Any further debate? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. aye. Kevin is also an aye. Thank okay. you. Thank you. This was HLPC? This is HAC. 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 Okay, so, so we've, we've come back. The There'll be a special meeting. We've endorsed it. it. We've given the advisory opinion, gotcha. but okay. it's still got to be HLPC. Okay. It just means that the people who are HAC but not HLPC don't have to come back for the special meeting. Okay. All right. We'll, I'll be there. We'll see. You. We'll see you soon. Absolutely. <laughs> Tell Tyson. Some meeting. <laughs> All right. Next item of business is 105 Fair Street. Uh, continued restoration of an existing ho house to include porch, restoration and recreation of windows and doors, roof replacement, site work, and paint removal. Uh, Lee Kelly, applicant, Costas Katsaras, owner. Hi. I am Lee Kelly from 105. Good to see it's you. Good to meet you all in person. Okay. Supposed to Zoom. I did bring a copy of my presentation too. I'm assuming. Yep. So. Okay. Well, you can pass this around if you like. Yeah. Um. So the first order of business: windows. We're looking to commission Newberg Sash. Um, been somewhat delayed, looking to get started in November, but figured we'd get permission now um, to both restore and recreate historic windows. We have 12 beautiful originals. Can I just ask you to speak closer in? Oh, sure. you can pull this it is closer actually the first you, time I've easier. ever used a microphone before. <laughs> I was trying to think back to childhood. <laughs> listening online, so okay. I need um, So on the first and second floors, we have 12 original period windows with beautiful wavy glass. So we're simply looking to restore and rehabilitate those. We have 10 quite ugly modern vinyl windows and we're looking to introduce recreations that, that match the, uh, the historic windows and two transoms, historic transoms. And I believe it is 11 60s, 2000 era windows, all modern glass, uh, not in good condition. Um, again, those will be recreations. And the color that we're looking to use, if you'd like to pass this around, is Pharaoh and Ball pitch black, which is a bit of a misnomer because it doesn't look black in person. It resembles a dark charcoal gray. 
And we think that it's this bottom one right here will look lovely against the brick, which we've begun to peel away, which by the way, looks beautiful. Um, we've been told that the mortar is in excellent condition on the 19th century side. It's exciting to see. I personally think that it might be 1850 because it's a seven course bond, every seventh bricks with the header. Um, there was a uh, survey done in the 1990s that claimed it was from 1830. We still haven't proven that the original date of the primary block, but still fun to see. The casings are quite narrow and simple. Um, right now we're looking to paint both the sashes and the casings the same color. Uh, we haven't decided on a palette for the overall porch, which we don't want to be looming and dark. So it's not impossible we'd come back and say, hmm, there's a slight variation on this casing color. But again, since we're not looking to paint these restorations and recreations in September, um, but the predominant color we'd like for, for those frames to stand out. Secondly, let me pull up this too. This is just by way of reminder, our beautiful house. <laughs> Let's see. We have a lot of restorative work that we can begin. Um, our entablature is obviously 1908 original. As our, uh, we have two pilasters, one of which is damaged. Uh, we're looking to repair that with wood um, species as we got to be determined. Um, we have a beautiful entryway in all its detailing so we can get busy hopefully on sanding or pillowing and priming and making good these, these original elements that are so beautiful. And you can see down here, this is our original pilaster. And the other pilaster was at some point sawed in half to accommodate a sunroom um, that the previous owners uh, took down and then they reconverted our porch back into its original intended brand estate. So, Right now it's uh, just squared off lines, didn't even attempt to replicate the original, but we're looking to make a seamless repair of that damaged pilaster. Now this is something we're not, we're not sure if it existed or not, but we have this beautiful coffering effect on the entryway, which is mirrored in many of our doorways inside. And we know that the French doors are likely not original, even though, even though the hardware is and that the basement entry doors were redone in the 60s. So we'd like to mirror that coffered effect and the jams of our French doors, as well as the entryway. Um, we have two entries in the basement, just this, this coffered effect. Um, next, you might recall <laughs> a little bit of history I provided with the original owner, um, Mr. Smith. Our home had been in the family since at least 1865, and he repurchased the home at auction um, on the steps of the courthouse in 1908 for $2,000, which was approximately 64 k in today's, today's funds. Um, so we also know that he was in incredibly wealthy, and he left his family about $29 million, likely before the stock market crashed. Um, so um, I brought this up because the original width of the, of the balusters and the columns was quite hefty, which was also in proportion with the, the Doric entablature and the Doric, the Doric order in general. But apparently the wider the baluster, the more money you had. Um, and you can see this map here. This is the 1870 De Beers map. Um, and Rusa grew up just down the street at 159 Fair. Oh, something I didn't bring up at the last meeting. I am loosely related to Rusa. I have 12 DNA matches to his great grandparents. So it seems like this house was meant to be <laughs> very, very cool. And again, by way of reminder, even though we have uh, all seven 1908 original drawings and the Friends of Historic Kingston has 63 pages of uh, original construction notes, which have been amazing because we know in many cases exactly what the measurements were and what materials he used. Um, but we do know sometimes things don't come to fruition, but quite obviously the, uh, the beautiful balustrade and the columns were made. The one element that we're looking to, actually the couple elements we're looking to emit is the rooftop balustrade because we do not have a parapet and we're not wealthy. <laughs> we're not looking to build a parapet. And if you look at the original drawings, you'll see that there were Juliet balconies here and here, and also iron grills on the basement windows. We know that at some point these windows were replaced uh, the construction notes also speak of six over sixes, which was late Federalist in style. 
And you can tell by looking at the muntins that they're late Federalist based on their width. Um, but the glass looks very, very old. It has all those beautiful imperfections. So we're thinking that at minimum, the upper sashes might have dated to the 1850 side and that later they were, they were changed. But um, let's see. This was fascinating too. Just I'm, we're both nerds. We love digging up all this information that the column company only a few years ago went out of business because we thought, wouldn't it be fun to introduce the actual columns? Um, and this is, this is Mr. Smith, whose family owned own the home. We're not quite sure what happened between 1875 and 1908, but we're, we're figuring it fell out of family hands. He must've been sentimental and figured he'd bring it back into the family. Interesting, this is a side note too. The first occupant was not a member of the Smith family. It was the uh, commissioner, police commissioner for the reservoir who later became the, the youngest police commissioner for New York City. His term was also the shortest lived. Apparently he was a little too successful at, at uh, reigning in the bandits. So that didn't last for long, but there have been a number of prominent people living in our home too. So we had to geek out and include a few photos. Um, let's see. Our drawings are not yet complete. We're hoping that because it's going to take uh, several months to create these elements um, that you'll grant permission anyways. Uh, it comes down to probably very slight measurement differences um, and the columns and the width of the uh, the, uh, the balusters. We also had uh, an informal meeting with the Department of Buildings. I shall not name names, but it was very encouraging. And we were told that we uh, might be, be able to uh, erect a railing that's as low as 20 inches. So that was wonderful to hear because often when you build high railings, they destroy the character and look of the original proportions that make the home just so much more hospitable and inviting to the eye. So that was going to be exceptional. It's really incredible. That was that was great to hear. And I've also had discussions with New York State and their folks, and they're excited too. And they said, "No problem here if you want a lower railing." Um, so, but these these are just some of the drawings, and our architect is he's great. We love him. I think we're all very enthusiastic about what you're doing, and extremely impressed with how thorough your approach to it is. And I couldn't help it. I'm a professional photo, photo restorer, so I had to do a before and after of Rusa just by way of inspiration, since we're essentially doing the same thing with our house. Is there something you need now, or are you going to be held up on decisions if we have to postpone this for a couple of weeks till a special meeting of HLPC? No, I will say we've been getting estimates and materials. That's what I'm most curious to hear your thoughts on. Again, I've had similar discussions with New York State. Um, it'd be lovely to use all wood, but we all know this is not old growth wood that we're working with and it can be very expensive. We were surprised at how expensive a Koya is, by example. Um, so it, we're looking probably for a combination of some elements to be wood, um, other elements to potentially be synthetic alternatives that mimic the look and feel of wood, noting that they would not be stained. They would definitely be painted to blend in with the other elements, in particular columns, by example, Akoya columns, uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, four columns would cost over 24K out of Akoya versus uh, a polystone um, synthetic, which again, supposedly uh, uh, experts can't tell the difference from a certain vantage point. Uh, it came up to around 6,000, I believe it was. So there's a, Yes, for all four, um, and it varies. And again, it depends on who we use. For instance, we've been in touch with a mill worker who's worked on a number of historic homes and buildings, churches and libraries. And he says he has a lathe uh, so he can, he can cut costs down somewhat and then hand finish balusters. So balusters, it would be really lovely to have those done um, by hand, but the columns, again, columns are one of the first things to rot. Um, New York State seems open-minded and hospitable to the idea of this combination of materials, but curious to hear your thoughts on, on materials. So the current clear, columns saying, are sorry. sort of being held together with Bondo or something? Literally. Yeah, for instance, one of the, the things I mentioned in here is a flooring called Eritus, which uh, has been approved by many historic commissions around the country. Um, uh, floors are high traffic. Mind you, this is not an original floor, nor is the beaded ceiling, even though we know that Rusa also used beading. Um, it will last longer, uh, it won't require painting as often, and uh, it's economical, and uh, in this case, it's also, you know, a, a, a savvy ecolog ecological choice. So um, that, I would say the, the materials and being able to get, we're, 
we're thinking that by the end of August, we'll probably have finalized our dimensions, in which case we'll be ready to uh, start producing these materials. Um, uh, Farmers Almanac is suggesting we're going to have a very long and very cold and very snowy winter of shivers. So depending on the amount of time it takes to produce these, we're figuring probably two and a half to three months if we're lucky. We probably won't start, uh, we probably won't get around to actually erecting the, the porch elements until spring, but um, we have a large gutted basement and we have plenty of room to store all of these beautiful components. So we figured why not get busy now if we can, once those measurements have been finalized. But if you have any suggestions on materials too, we, we're all ears, we're very open-minded. I, th I think we're fine with the okay. substitute on the columns. You right. freaked me out a little bit because you basically were going to ask the exact same thing that I was going to ask. Right. Like, if, you, if the columns are there that are curtain, when he said bond, I was like, whoa, we're going down the same path. Well, <laughs> the ones that you have there are not able to be reused. Oh, no, these are, these are awful. These are that, from that was my question. 2016. They they're very skinny. They look like toothpicks from the street. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's very what I cheap. Thought. But synthetic. they're also probably filled with, they probably have filler for rot and stuff like that. Uh, we're not even sure what they are and the railings Got are it. vinyl and they're very, very high. Even our two-year-old is, you know, yeah. his head is below them like that. So the original columns were also tragically uh, spliced in half when that sun room was built. So you can see in that, that picture, I, uh, the previous owners were able to send me two photos. Um, but first they couldn't find them and they said, yes, this is what it used to look like. And it was an abomination. So we we're so happy they returned it to a porch as it was meant to be. Um, so that's about it. Um, we also realized uh, we were going to try to re-roof this summer and we're putting in a new bathtub in the attic and we thought to ourselves, wait a minute, if we re-roof now, how are we going to get that bathtub in? So we'll probably come back at you next month um, with uh, particulars on how to redo our porch roof, which is in need of an upgrade. Um, we're probably going to do copper flashing yeah. and uh, the, the roof itself, but that, that's for a later date. <laughs> Kevin, do you have any questions of the applicant? Uh, no, not really. No, it, it was just I was just looking at one of the uh, old historic surveys where it, it didn't, and I think you, okay, yeah, you did address it as late federal. Okay, yeah, okay, then that, that's what the historic consultant said as well from 1990. So I think you're all on the same page. No. Any other questions? Okay. I so, junior league so we, map as well, uh, and I didn't find in the junior league study. I didn't see anything for, for your house, so I think okay. you know, I think you're good. So what we could do here is endorse a positive preservation notice of action for the proposed fabrication of the porch, balusters, box posts, columns, finials ramped railings and window replacements even though they're considered draft at this point you'd still have the hlpc would still have sure. to you know yeah, do the preservation they're... but we could endorse it now right. that way hhc members wouldn't have to come back for a special meeting so do i hear a motion to declare this a type two action under seeker bonnie howland so moved do i hear a second any Murano, second Thank you. That motion's on the floor. Any debate on that? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. Kevin is an aye. Second, do I hear a motion to endorse a positive, positive preservation notice of action uh, for the proposed renovations at 105 Fair Street and to allow and to allow the owner applicant to pursue fabrication of the porch, balusters, box posts, columns, finials, ramped railings, and window replacement as drafted. So moved. Do I hear a second? Thank you. That motion's on the floor. Any further discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please raise your hands and say aye. 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 Also, in a positive vote. Thank you so much. Thanks. We look forward to next month. We look forward to the next iteration of this. Yeah.
spectacular. Yeah. Next item of business is 93 Abrun Street, a proposal to install a new asphalt roof. Pankaki Union Church owner, exterior solutions applicant. Welcome. If you could introduce yourselves and explain a little about what's going on. Uh, my name is Jackie Shreve. I'm with Exterior Solutions. My name is Chris Exposito. I'm with uh, Exterior Solutions as well. Um, so we're proposing to um, re-shingle the roof on the church. Um, we are not doing the upper turret, and we are also not doing the lower roof as well. Um, we're just doing the main portion. Um, we're replacing it with uh, IKO dual, dual gray shingles, um, which there's currently shingles on there right now and a gray as well. Um, which if you want to pass this around, it's the dual gray. I'll go this way or that way. <laughs> there's going to be no structural changes. We're just removing the old shingles, replacing with the uh, new current uh, Cambridge, IKO Cambridge asphalt shingles. And the existing shingles are also asphalt, right? Correct. Correct. There is any, uh, as on the spec sheet as well, and the uh, contract, if there is any plywood that needs to be changed, um, we would be doing that, but we're doing like for like. Right. The dual gray replicates pretty closely the color that's up there now. Yes. Um, yeah. The roof is in pretty rough shape right now, um, but there are gray shingles on there. The only thing I didn't understand is the distinction between the lower portion and the upper portion of the roof. So there is a, um, I believe I said, there's one small roof on the left-hand side. Um, I believe. I believe, it, we believe it's copper. I haven't been on site, but I believe it's copper. We're yeah. not touching that. Okay. Um, the same thing with the upper turret. Um, that is currently, I believe, shingled as well, but we are not touching that as well. Oh, these, the lower just means these two doorway roofs? Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. yeah, we're just solely doing the main. Roof. Got it. So it will be visible, but it won't. Yeah, but it'll be the same, like with like. Yes. Correct. Any questions for the applicant? Kevin, anything? No, no. Okay. Do I hear a motion to declare this a type two action under the State Environmental Quality Review Act? So move. Do I hear a second? Janet Moore, second. That duly made motions on the floor. Any further debate? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, please raise your hand and say aye. 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 It's also a yay vote. Uh, do I hear a motion to endorse a positive preservation notice of action for the roof installation? At 90 through 93 of Brune Street as proposed. Janet Moore, so moved. Thank you, Janet. Do I hear a second? Nettie Murano, second. Thank you, Nettie. That motion's on the floor. Any debate? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All in favor, say aye and raise your hand. Aye. 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 And it was also a positive vote. Thank you. So you still have to come back to HLPC to get the preservation notice of action, but we've endorsed it. And that'll be in about two weeks, right? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to try and schedule a special meeting. So okay. I'll be in touch with you. Yeah, like, perfect. All right. Um, I believe I have a, I don't know, do you need samples of anything or no? Yeah. The, the B? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But also, like, do you need samples of anything for your, or no? Okay. I don't think so. I think we're okay. good. No problem. Thank you. Thank Is you. this going to hold you up at all? The two I, weeks or? No, I think we're still at a, I'm just going to double check so I could speak accurately. Um, we have about a, one more page. Um, we're still about six to eight weeks. So we just signed, they just signed the contract on 722. So we're still within the time frame. Gotcha. Um, so no, two more weeks will not yeah. hurt us. Sorry for the okay. inconvenience. No, it's okay. Any other business before the Heritage Area Commission? Sue, anything we need to discuss? Anything we need to discuss? Um, no. 
Can we adjourn before we sign? Uh, I sorted time? out my schedule. Yeah, if you need. And Do Kevin, it. I Kevin, just so you're not here, I'll just make a note on the signature line that you're virtually. Yeah, I, I, I okay. yeah, I assented to the pretty much. Everything. Do I hear a motion to adjourn the August fourth, twenty twenty two Heritage Area Commission meeting? Bonnie Howland, so moved. Do I hear a second? Janet Mar, second. All in favor, please say aye and raise your hand. Aye. 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 And Kevin's a yes. also a yes. We are adjourned. Okay. Thank okay. you, everybody. I, I, I did sort out my schedule. Uh, I just looked it up. Uh, the Wednesday, the I guess the 17th, I'm, I'm, I have the